So today we're going to test which gummy flavor the cichlids in the pond like more using the scientific method. So we're going to teach the kids the scientific method and test our theories. So we were out fishing the other day, we ran out of bait. Uh, so he tried out one of his fruit snacks and we caught a bunch of cichlids on him. So we're going to figure out which color they want today and we're going to use the scientific method. So the question is which color fruit snacks that the fish like the best? Which one do you think they like the best? I got the gummies to be used. Which one do you think they'll like the best? Um, I think they're going to like the red one, I think. Okay, that's called your hypothesis. And now what we're going to do is go do the experiment and record our observations and then we'll review them and test our theories and see which one works the best, all right? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. He likes all fruit snacks. I thought it would like attract more fish because of the scent of it. I really enjoy fishing with the kids though. Oh, you got him again. This is a Mayan cichlid. They're an invasive species from South America, I believe. And uh, they got pretty good teeth on them. Very aggressive eaters. I guess the purple ones are killing it, huh? You can tell by the tail coloring and by the bright orange belly. They, uh, they make good bait. They're an invasive species, and I believe you're supposed to just kill them, but I'm trying to teach them to be responsible, even though harvesting these would be responsible. That's pretty much all there is in this pond, and there's a lot of kids that fish here. So I'll let them get bigger, and they can, uh, and get caught by other kids, and then I take them out when I'm ready to use them for bait. So a little bit bigger than this is what you want for snook bait. This is a pretty good size too, though. I use them live, and I hook them right through the back of the tail here, and I'll drop them down at the spillway, let them hit the bottom, and uh, hopefully they come back with a much bigger fish attached. Um, it's going pretty good. It seems like the bigger fish like the red, and the more fish like the purple. But, it turns out that purple does not hold up in the sunlight very well and it all melted. So we are now on yellow-orange. Yes. We're just burning through bait. What? Right. So now we're just going to use up the rest of our bait and then we'll go home and then we'll count up the fish. Oh. How many did you catch? Ten. Okay, and what bait did you use mostly when you were fishing? What color? Orange and purple. Which ones do you think? Which ones do you think were the best? Uh, orange. Okay. I'm Mike, Treasure Coast Fishing Chronicles. This is Leo and Anthony. 
So today we did our science experiment of what would you what would we experiment on? Gummies. Gummies with fish. And what were we, what was our what was our question? Um, which one worked the best? And what was our hypothesis? Um. What is the hypothesis? Um, like the question basically. No, the hypothesis. Mm -hmm. The question is which gummy is going to catch? Oh, it's the explanation. The hypothesis is your theory. So the hypothesis is that the purple was gonna catch the most fish, right? That's what we thought, yeah? And then, what was our experiment? Um, so our experiment, um, so we were testing which gummies were the best. And which one did you have? I had red ones and I caught the biggest ones, but I caught the least. He had the pur he, he had purple, he caught the most, but he caught the smallest. And my, and my dad was using the orange ones and they were all normal and it caught them the, even more faster. Yeah. So that's the experiment and our observation. So now what's the conclusion? What was the best best color gummy? Orange. Orange, but in size comparison, red. Yes. See, those are smart observations. So what could we do differently? Um, try what um bread flavors work the best like bread kinds okay that's uh, an idea what about you um i think we should try to use like different like if we go to the store we should try to try to get like cow meat or ground beef and then see what kind of meat works the best yeah and then so we can see which how big of the fish we can catch with the beef okay so the control is what stays the same. So I was using bread for part of the time, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty consistent, right? Mm -hmm. And then we were testing the gummies to see which one did better. And those are called the variables. And the color of the gummy is the variable. Um, so also the, the gummies usually like the the orange one melted like the least fastest and the red one melted second and then the purple one melted first and I don't know why that but I think it's because like the color of it. Yeah because dark colors absorb light faster and get hotter. Mm -hmm. Smart observation too. Shouldn't the purple one be melting though? No the purple it absorbs light faster so it heats up faster. Oh. That's oh, why. That's why the orange one didn't melt. Right. All right, so I think that was a good experiment. How many fish did you catch? Um, I caught with red and the orange, count as a competition. Um, I think I caught like five fish with the red one and then 11 with the orange, so in total I caught 16 fish. All right, and how about you? Um, I feel like I caught seven with purple. You know what, I'll take the fact that you answered with a number and not squirrel <laughs> as a win. All right. And Orange, I thought, uh, you, you, you think so? Yeah. Well, we All right, well, we'll review the numbers on the camera, but I told you guys I'd get you the Ford, Fortnite skins. Mm -hmm. So. And I'd have to pay for one. Yep. All right. I don't want to pay one. So high five. Good day fishing. Thanks for fishing. <laughs> yeah. That was dumb, wasn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, y'all stay tuned and I'll bring you more videos to come down the pipe. See you on the water. Like and subscribe if you haven't already.